You know, you confiscate a few billion dollars out of private bank accounts and you print a couple trillion dollars and all of a sudden, you know what happens? People start to worry. So out of this worry, we have something called the Bitcoin. Bitcoin is an electronic online digital currency, was created about three years ago, kind of flew under the radar. Now it's starting to actually gain some traction. You exchange your dollars, you exchange your euros, whatever. You go onto these networks and they, it, it's an accepted currency and it's zooming in value lately. Just un unbelievable how much this has taken off. Um, and, and, and there are places that are beginning to actually accept this sort of universal digital currency, kind of operates in the shadows, not regulated but it's an it's a total outgrowth of people getting start, starting to get worried about these currency crises, debt crises where are these things accepted still not a lot of places I, I checked out online not a lot of websites that you would recognize but the places are kind of novelty clothing gaming sites yeah wait for it porn some of those places but you know there are a lot of drawbacks there are a lot of fears that I'm sure that our guests are going to talk about but this tells you how really insecure people are in this age of debt and, and currency crises and all the other things that we have going on in the world. First, I have to give Bitcoin creators uh, credit. At least they tr they know enough not to trust fiat money that's controlled by our government. But yeah. we they're trying to reinvent the wheel and they've come up with a flat tire. We already have a perfect real form of money and it's called gold. Money has to have f uh, four elements. It has to be very rare, indestructible, divisible without losing its purchasing power and cannot be increased by fiat. And, and, and Bitcoins fail on the first two. They are not rare and they are very much destructible. Had PayPal invented Bitcoin, we'd all be heralding it as the most important financial revolution since the internet, since the credit card perhaps. And I guess I would say, as for those first two points, as to it being uh, destructible and rare, I, I guess I don't know if I agree with that. I mean, gold is only rare because it's physically scarce, but right. Bitcoin is rare because it counts on the scarcity of CPU time. And so, and I, likewise, as to destructibility, I think that's also sort of in question. What are, what are the chances of someone coming up with a counterfeit Bitcoin? And they present that to, a, to a, an end user, and they're accepting this, this phony Bitcoin. I guess the chances would be astronomically low, and that's the whole design. I mean, the way that? That you, the way that you create a Bitcoin is that you basically have to find a larger, rare number uh, bigger than any of the other Bitcoin out there. And so every Bitcoin, the next Bitcoin is even harder to create. And so I'd say right now it requires vast amounts of CPUs, generally through Amazon Cloud and things right. like this, to create the next Bitcoin. So it would be exceedingly impossible or exceedingly difficult to so, create a counterfeit so, Bitcoin. So, hack, so hacking Bitcoin could be a problem, but what about someone coming up with a counterfeit that end users don't recognize as being counterfeit? And that well, eroding the purchasing power of all existing yeah, Bitcoin. Yeah, you guys, I, I guess one of my concerns here too is that you know there's a lot of stories about drugs drug dealers using these kind of things. And I think it's just a matter of it's not regulated, it's not controlled. The whole the whole Bitcoin market is about a billion dollars. It's a novelty yeah. for the geek squad. I, I can assure you if these became well promulgated then the US government would shut it down. And just to, well, just to give our just to give our viewers some perspective, there's about four trillion dollars in currency trading every day. And as Michael said, it's about a billion dollars worth of Bitcoins. It has quintupled in value over the last year. Just just since the, the Cyprus thing came up, it's up over 20% over the last month or about a couple months it's up over 40 percent so it's actually getting some visibility out there again you can go online and go to places where bitcoins are accepted and there are dozens of places no websites that you would actually that, that you know if i said them oh yeah i i know that but it's just going to be very interesting to see just how much this catches on it just sounds so silly but maybe it's not david how much of your uh wealth will you place in bitcoins what percentage well, would you i guess you I, I believe that uh, for any sort of a highly diversified portfolio something like bitcoin is going to play in increasing role. But it could, be, it could be wiped it out in a if it, if it ever, If it is widely promulgated and the exponential increase of someone trying to hack it, because there'd be many more people trying to hack it, goes up. Well, I guess what? you're assuming that merely that because you can theorize the possibility that's going to happen, I would say. Mm -hmm. Your purchasing power can be wiped out in a nanosecond, and that's why it would never be widely accepted in this country. I hear you say that, but that doesn't make it true. And I think that there are people who spend a lot of time on this that might know this topic maybe a bit more and who would believe in it.